What's up guys, this is Apple Fox channel here and welcome to the review of the iOS 11.3 for the iPhone. I know that this version hasn't been released officially for the public just yet. We are still in a beta stage, but anyways, those features that will be shown to you in my video will also be present on the final release when the version will be available for everybody. So why not make a video about it right now? If this is your first time on the channel, you should definitely start by pressing the big subscribe button and that way you won't miss any future updates for the iOS and for your iPhone. And now let's finally get into it. And let's start with the first thing that many people want to know about and that is the battery health tab that has been added to the iOS 11.3. So let's take a look at it. And as you can see, this is what the page actually looks like. Where we have the battery health in beta in brackets. As you can see, it is only for developers or right now you just are not able to get it. But anyways, the thing is that the battery health tab is actually able to do much more with your battery and you can actually manage your battery really well. So for example, the batteries of the iPhone on, or pretty much any other smartphone often drain a lot. And that is because after some time of using them, just like every single battery, it will wear out. So you can take a look at the maximum capacity of your battery as I already talked about it. But anyways, also this bottom or this tab at the bottom is actually much more important. Peak performance capability. You know that there has been a, this kind of issue with Apple batteries with the older devices, with the older iPhones from Apple, supposedly that Apple were slowing them down and that kind of stuff. And it was reality, like it was true, but Apple did it for a reason. They did it in order to keep the battery life going. They did it in order for the iPhone to be usable enough. And that is the reason why they made the iPhone slower. But if you don't want to do this, or if you don't want to like have the iPhone slower just to have better performance, you are able to disable performance throttling on your iPhone. And this is the tab where you need to go. But of course, you have to be running the 11.3, which is not out yet. It's not like you can click on it all the time to turn it on and off, but you can actually disable it. It's kind of complicated, but you are able to do it. And on the bottom, you have this link where you actually can get more information about it. On Apple's website, Apple made some articles about it in order for you to read them. So make sure to take a look at it once you will be running the 11.3 on your iPhone. So as I mentioned, the 11.3 is only at the developer beta stage. I mean, public beta testers can also try it out, but it's not available for the public as I mentioned. But the second beta that is actually the latest one right now is about 390 megabytes, so almost 400. And once the final version will be released, I suppose that there will be like four other betas. I think it will be about one gigabyte, but this is my expectation. Once you update your device to that version, you should also be having a more storage because this update is supposed to clear out some unneeded space or some unneeded files. And that way you should have more storage available for you to use. So keep that in mind. A very small change, but the icon of the iBooks on the home screen has actually been changed to just books. I'm not sure why that happened, but this is how it will be in the 11.3. The 11.3 comes with this new option where some retailers and some people from the store can actually talk to you via some kind of business chat as they call it. But anyways, you will be able to contact right away the people that you are buying stuff from. There is new privacy tab in the settings that has been added in the new version. And basically this icon, which you can see at the top, the two people shaking their hands will be available to see on the top of your screen every time when an Apple uses your personal data, your privacy stuff for some kind of purpose, you will be seeing this icon at the top of your display. So kind of useful to know when Apple is needing or using your personal information in order for you, of course, they're not going to do anything bad with them, but you know when they're doing it. For the iPhone 10 or iPhone X users, they have been added actually a couple new faces for the Animoji. As you can see, these are the two of them, the lion and the dragon. But as you can see, here are all of them. So besides that, we also have the teddy bear and the skull. I mean, it's kind of unusual. It's not like a very useful feature of the Animojis. It's just like a feature where you brag that you have the iPhone 10. But anyways, it's nice that they are thinking about it. The dark mode is something that many people want to have on the iPhones. In the iOS 11, Apple sort of added the dark mode, even though it is not the real thing, but it is always getting better. And in this update, it is also got just a little bit better. So when you basically have the dark mode or the smart invert feature turned on on your iPhone 10 or pretty much any other iPhone, and you would go to the Safari in the older version, 
you would see basically this. So this is what it looks like. It's kind of weird. The colors of the images have been inverted, which is not something you want to see when you turn on the sort of dark mode. But in the 11.3, when you open up the Safari, when I'm turning on the Smart Inverter, you can see that the images have been turned to normal or haven't been inverted, which looks really nice and this is the way to go for Apple. If you have an iPhone 10 and you often download applications, you probably know what it looks like when you are actually going to download one. You basically click on the buy or to get the icon and you are basically indicated or are brought to this page where you need to double press the side button in order to scan your face if you have face ID set up. But basically in the 11.3 there is a new icon at the bottom and it is sort of like a new indicator that you have to double press the side button. It's nothing special but it is new in the 11.3. In the podcast application on the new version, if you take a look at it, if you press on one of the podcasts, you will be noticing that the podcast will start to play right away when you click it. Very useful and very nice feature that has also been implemented to the new version is when you for example type 911 and you want to call the police, your information will automatically be sent to the person you are calling to. So it will be sent to the police basically. So you don't have to say all of the information about yourself. When you call it, they already know everything about you. One thing you should also know about is that in case you have the iPod Touch 6, which is the latest one basically, even though it supports the iOS 11, the 11.3 will probably not be supported on that device. And besides all of the new features, the performance of the iPhones will definitely increase when updating to the 11.3. For example, opening up applications and going through menus and that kind of stuff, it should always be faster when compared to the old version. So keep that in mind in case you are watching this video when the 11.3 and the latest version is available to download right now for everybody for the public and you are deciding if you want to get it or not, then keep in mind that it should be faster, you should be able to get better performance. So I think that in the end you should really get the update and update your iPhone right away. And that, my friends, would be the end of today's video. I just want to say thank you very much for watching. Hopefully I helped you with the decision if you want to get to the iOS 11.3 in case it has been already released. And if not, hopefully this video was interesting for you enough. If it was, then definitely hit the like button as well as the subscribe button. And see you in the next video, guys. Peace out.